Hi everybody and welcome back to episode four of my full book Colour Along in RJ Hampson's cute book Awake. I am Geordie, thank you for joining me today and today we are doing this cute page which is called A Productive Day and I just think it's so sweet with the uh, rhino doing her knitting. I used to do a lot of knitting back when I lived in the UK and um, not so much anymore, it's a bit warm where I live now. So I have my kind of protective sheet here behind my um, page so that I don't get alcohol marker bleeding through onto my work surface. And we're gonna dive in and start. So the biggest element on this page is obviously the rhino. So let's start with her. Um, I'm using some greys. I kind of debated doing like a brownish, greyish color. I decided just to go gray. Let's just keep it simple. <laughs> so I'm using CG204, CG2 and CG200. These are my um, Ohuhu Honolulu alcohol markers and I'm gonna do the light source coming from this angle today I think so we'll have this part the lighter so let's do a shadow along the back I kind of forgot about my light source last time I started the page <laughs> and kind of it just kind of went in wherever it was going to go um, which is fine I'm going to go straight over these little dots because I'm going to do them in a darker colour, so I'm not too worried about colouring over them. So let's add some shadow in there. I'm going to try and do the top half first, so I'm going to do this in sections because it's quite a big area to colour. So I don't want to do a huge area because I want to work while my alcohol markers are still wet on the page and um, not yeah not kind of drawing up too much okay um where else is we're gonna have shadow under here under the horns is it I'm not, that's the nose so we're gonna have shadow under the nose here i guess she's wearing is she wearing glasses i don't know i can't tell we'll just do it like that We'll have a little bit of shadow under the eyebrows, uh, a little bit under the mouth here, and kind of under her neck a little bit. Okay, so let's blend that out a little bit with my next colour, which is the CG2. And we're going to really work over those um, transitions because there's quite a big jump from these two colours. One is quite a lot, the CG204 is quite a lot darker than the CG2, so it's quite a big jump. So I'm just going to kind of really play around and blend over those lines. Probably need to do around her nose as well. do that in a sec. Let's just try and blend this while it's nice and wet. Really working over those transitions. Okay, I'm just going to add a bit of that darker colour back in around here because I forgot to do that. Emphasize that nose. Again, just blend that out. Okay, let's go in with the lightest marker now, just fill in the rest of these areas. Again, I'm going to have to work over those transitions a little bit to smooth them out. I just think alcohol markers are like, they're kind of like magic. <laughs> Especially when you use the right kind of paper, they just kind of, everything just merges and they just end up looking quite seamless. I don't always get it right. I'm no expert, don't get me wrong. Um, but it is kind of like a bit of a, a magic voodoo thing going on. <laughs> okay, I think that's okay. I haven't blended that out particularly well, but I'm going to go back over with this mid-tone colour, which is the CG2. I'll just try and work that a bit more. Okay, let's go and do the E. Oh, I need the darker colour. Let's do the ears. I 
I find that with some blends you do have to work a little bit harder um, to get them smoother. Some are, some just blend pretty seamlessly and quite easily, but some you really kind of have to work at to make them work. I think that's okay. Okay, let's work on her arm here next. So like I say, I like to do it in sections because I want my alcohol marker to remain kind of wet um, and not dry up too much because if it's dry, it can't blend. So if it's wet, it'll blend much nicer. I'm going to add a little bit in there, that crease. And let's blend that out. Sorry, I'm not very good at talking and colouring at the same time. I need to concentrate. I'm not a multitasker. <laughs> okay, really, really kind of working, really working on these. Um, transitions because these two colors are a little bit a little bit different from each other so they're not they're not as easy to blend if that makes sense my lightest color and my mid-tone blend a lot easier and a lot smoother but my mid-tone and my darkest take a little bit of work that's okay it just means kind of going over the same areas a few more times to get that more seamless look. I'm even gonna go back in with that mid-tone again and just really work that in. Okay, let's go on to her other arm. So I'm just trying to figure out, I presume this is part of her belly as well, so let's do that. So we'll add some shadow in here. This is going to be fairly dark because it's kind of hidden. Let's add some shadow into this part. And I guess this is part of her hand. And then we're going to add shadow around here. I'm not going to add any of the lightest colour to this part because I think it's going to be pretty well hidden in the shadow. So we'll just do our shadow colours. And again, I'm just going to leave a tiny, tiny area of the lightest marker there. And I'll leave more here because this is going to be much more in the light than those other bits. Okay. Let's do the back leg. So again, we're going to have shadow around this area. I love that she's got a little footstool. <laughs> I think that's kind of cute. I'm going to add some around there as well. And then we'll... Again, we're really working that colour. A lot of grey on this page. <laughs> a lot of grey, but that's okay because I'm going to come in with some cute kind of fun colours for the rest of it just to brighten it up a bit. Um, I've got a little bird up here as well, which we can kind of have fun with. Okay, let's do, let's kind of do these, these bits in here, which are kind of behind the chair. And let's do her tail. I fill this all in with this kind of mid-tone. Because again, it would be quite shadowed under there at the back of the chair. Leave a little bit of space at the top of the tail. I might even add some more of the darker colour in there because I feel like that's kind of washed out a bit now. And I feel like that would be quite dark actually around there. Iron shadow. 
Okay. A little touch of the lighter marker to the tail. Okay, let's do this final leg. I'm really just emphasizing those kind of lines and marks. Again, I'm going to make this quite dark back here. So let's just fill that all in with the darkest marker. There'll be a bit of a shadow from the um, arm of the chair as well there. Look at me talking like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let me re-emphasize that I'm no expert on this. I'm just kind of doing what feels right. So yeah, have fun with it. Enjoy. Okay. Let's give it a note where the mid-tone. And I'm really kind of trying to work that transition. I'm keeping this area quite dark because it's well hidden and well shadowed. I'm just leaving the top part for the lightest marker. Okay, that's pretty much my rhino done. Now let's go into those little spots. I'm going to use a darker grey. So I've got BG209, which is, I think you can see that. I don't know if it's going to show up. Um, it's quite a lot darker, so I can go over those spots quite easily with this one. And add those in there. Okay. We need to do her eyebrows. I don't know what to do with her eyebrows. I might actually just leave her eyebrow white because she's kind of, she looks like a slightly elderly. I'm thinking now, I'm thinking this is glasses. When I look at that, I think that's her glasses, but it's okay, we can, we can fix that. I'm gonna leave it for now. Let's do Let's do the rocking chair next. So I'm going to do the rocking chair in some browns. I have a BR1 and E170. And there's not really that much room with the rocking chair. There's not really that much to do. So we'll just do little bits. And I just like to work in little sections so that I can do a little bit at a time. Let's do this back bit. So it's going to be a bit shadowed where she's sitting. And then we'll do like that. Okay, it's going to be a little bit there. I want the, um, the yarn to be a, a lighter colour, so I'm trying to be quite careful not to um, go over the line of yarn with my other colours because I want to, like I say, do them in a lighter colour. So if I go over them with a dark colour like a brown, it's going to um, be hard to cover up. Okay, let's do the legs. Like I said, there's not a huge amount of space in these this rocking chair to do much in the way of shading. We'll just do a tiny bit. And we'll blend it out. Nice and quick and easy, this bit. Okay, I'm going to do the legs of the stool as well while I've got this brown out. 
and there's not a huge amount of room to do much in the way of shading so it's just a kind of quick little flick of color on there okay let's do i want to do her footstool in a pink <laughs> i just thought that was kind of fun um so i've got rv what have I got? RV200, RV180 and RV160 for that. Kind of softer pink, rosy pinks. And let's just add in shadow. Again, there's not a huge amount of room to add a great deal of shadow, but I'll add a little bit. This top part's probably going to be the darker markers. And finish off with our lightest one. I like this kind of rosy pink with the grey of the elephant. I think it's really, really cute. Okay, oh, I forgot to do her knitting needles. I'm going to do them in the same brown, but I might just use the lightest brown because it's such a small area. I don't think we need to do any kind of blending in there. Let's just keep it simple. Simple and easy. There we go. Okay. Um, what am I going to do? I'm going to... I'm going to do her kind of horns, her inside of her ears and her kind of nails. And I'm gonna use R18 and YR030 for that. So I think this one is the darker color. So it's quite a, it's, it's a very light color anyway, but it's just to add a little bit of something in there. So it looks a bit more ooh, ivory colored. <laughs> As it would be. Again, you're not really going to see a great deal of that shadow there, but let's add a little bit more and just add a second layer of that darker colour. Do the same colour inside her ears. And I'm just going to use the lighter colour first here and then I can add some shadow over the top. It's quite small areas to do. I might even, I don't know, I might do her eyebrow the same colour while I've got it out. We might as well. <laughs> I know it's weird to have a kind of pinkish eyebrow, but oh well. <laughs> okay, that's pretty much our rhino done. Um, let's do the little bird next. So I'm going to do some really pale yellow colours. I've got a GY6 and a Y030. Just a double check. It's a bit hard to tell which one's the darker one and which one's the lighter one. So the 050. O30. Yeah, so the O30 is the lighter, so I'm going to use that last. So yeah, it's very, very pale. Just add a little bit on there as well. And let's blend that out. This is super duper simple colouring, it's really easy. I'm not doing anything fancy here at all. Okay, I'll sort out the beak in a minute. Okay, sorry, interrupted by the doorbell. We're gonna do the YR030 on the bird's beak. It's just kind of a touch of color there. And then all that's left to do is the knitting yarn. So I'm gonna do those in a kind of soft green. So I have G140 and a G120. So very pastely colours <laughs> for our grandma. <clears throat> Excuse me, our grandma rhino. So let's add a little bit in here. And I don't know who she's making the scarf for. 
Maybe she's got a grandson or daughter that she's making it for. I like these little soft kind of pastel -y shades with the grey of the rhino. I just think it looks really pretty. Okay, and I'm presuming this is like the yarn. I don't know why it's looped up over her shoulder. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's a technique that she's got going. I don't know. But we'll add, uh, add some shading into various bits and pieces here. I, presume, I can't think of what else that could be other than the yarn. Okay, sorry, I feel like I'm off camera there a little bit. And let's do a little bit of shadow in these bits. And then... Okay, add a touch more darkness in various places. I think that's okay though. Right, pretty much done. We're just going to add a few little details in. Okay, I'm not sure what to do about these. Um, I kind of colored them quite dark, but let's see. Um, I think if I use what colour can I use? Um, let's just go with this light blue colour here. It's a bluish grey, so B220. And I'm going to kind of just push that grey out a bit and add this blue in. So hopefully you can see the grey kind of pushes out a little bit. If you look at the back, you'll see a really dark splodge where the colour is coming through the paper and out the other side. So we just want to be careful that we don't it doesn't bleed out into the rest of it. But we just added a touch of blue there to um, make the glasses look like glasses. And I'll fix them up a little bit more as well. So I'm going to add some white gel pen details. I have my Secura Jelly Roll in the size 10. And let's just add little bits of this everywhere. I never quite know what to do with this. I kind of just add it in willy-nilly here and there and hope for the best. <laughs> Seems to do the trick most of the time. It's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be because this is just all about having fun and just enjoying the process. Um, so I'm going to add a little bit of a shine mark on the glasses there like that. Just to emphasize that they are glasses because I missed that when I first looked at it, obviously. Okay, let's add some around here. Um, definitely some on her knees. I mean, it's not overly noticeable because I'm adding it to the lighter parts of the page, but it's there. And if you look closely, you can see it. Let's add little kind of dots down the side of her knitting here. Again, it's not over, overly you know, kind of obvious, but it is there. Around the back of the chair here. A little flicks to her tail. I'm going to add some to her shoulder area here. Uh, a little bit around her feet, maybe. A little bit on her footstool. And down the legs there. I'm never very straight. <laughs> I don't think it matters too much. Okay. 
and add a little bit to my bird not that you're really going to notice because he's very pale um yeah i think that's enough the only other thing that i think i'm going to do is add some glossy accents I love using my glossy accents. I'm going to add some to her glasses and also to her eyeball. So, hoping it will come out. Yeah, it does. First time this time. Okay, a little bit on her glasses and a little bit on her eye. And that's it. Page done. Super quick and easy and simple, but just a lot of fun. I just love these pages. They're so much fun to do and so quick and yeah just having loads of fun with this book so that was number four done this one is called a productive day and i think we have had a productive day <laughs> thank you so much for joining me everybody take care and i'll hope to see you again next week with the next page